Hi my loves. Okay, so I'm back with another video. This video is what's their intentions, what's their next move, and pretty much everything you need to know about what's going on in their mind when it comes to you, right? Because you want to know that, right? Okay, so we have Pal Citrine. Uh, you know what I'm doing? Well, this should be confusing me. Okay, we got A, B, and we got C. So this is A. A for, uh, damn, what's that called? What's your name? What's your name? Talk to me. Then you are orange calcite, maybe? Shit, I don't know. They figured y'all, orange calcite, okay? Pal A. And then we got citrine for pal B, and we have fluorite for pal C. I believe that's fluorite. I'm not a big crystal person. <laughs> I just think they're pretty. Um, so pick the pal that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is always and will forever be your best mind. I have three questions uh, three questions for $20 on my website. If you guys need a reading within the next 24 hours, I have emergency re well, next 48 hours. I have emergency readings on my website. I'm on Instagram at Queen Sandra XO. I'm on Twitter at Q Sandra XO. I have t-shirts down below with no is a complete sentence and I'm the best I've ever had, which is a true statement. And I love you guys truly, 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 but we're going to get started with how, oh, my stomach hurt. Oh, jeez, Louise, why I start right now? Okay, pal A, how am I supposed to start this, spirit? Talk to me. What's the question though? What are they looking for? What's the energy? Okay. So what's the energy over the relationship right now? For pal A, what is the energy over your relationship right now? You know what I've been listening to lately, y'all? Um, what's his name? Sir? Have y'all listened to that album? It's like this perfect smoking album. I'm telling you. I love it so much. Somebody's heartbroken. Hmm. You're single, ready to mingle. Somebody's trying to control the situation, but there is hope there. That could be victory. Spirit is saying things are actually looking up. Um, hmm. Somebody took some time out to actually uh, pay attention to themselves. Pay, pay attention to their heart. Pay attention to why there's toxicness in their life. Sadness. So we got some victory. We got some good news. We got things looking up. The end of a difficult situation. But this emperor, this archangel Michael, he's trying to come through and be the emperor. Be structured and disciplined. Not taking all these cards, but I will take the empress. So, you're in that fertile, as the feminine, you are in that fertile, beautiful energy of lavish abundance. Actually, I feel like some of you guys that actually have, like, businesses or you guys might actually be doing well a little bit better financially. Um, yeah. And if you've been hoping for, like, a business or something, money's going to be good. Money, Money's going to be good. Um, yeah, look, 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 told you. <laughs> good news about financial matters. So, um, maybe you guys are going to actually create something together as far as money. But Spirit is saying, like, this right here, if you're in the energy of feeling like things are not turning out the way you want them, you all, the only thing you want is your lover, and you want this connection, but he coming up as a fuckboy, that give and take is kind of off. But see, the thing is, with soulmates and twin flames and things like that, when our soul connects with people and spirit puts different people in our life, we tend to have to learn lessons from them, so... Yeah, but there is definitely a connection there. I think things will be actually better. I, I think that, um, I think, I feel, I read, <laughs> I'm reading that things are actually going to get better. Things are getting better. Coming from sadness to hope, he or she is in their emperor, king, or queendom. And the empress is tend to be a feminine figure, but can be a male or a female. Uh, you guys are in your, your, your essence. You're above kings and queens right now. You guys are in uh, empress energy. Emperor and empress energy. Lavish abundance. Having your own, you know? But there is, a, I feel like some of you guys might be feeling kind of trapped in this situation. Really not knowing what to do. That's probably why you're here, right? That makes sense. 
Money's gonna be doing good though. Somebody's getting a new career. Somebody's getting a new abundance. It's gonna be a new area of study. And I feel like some of you guys, okay, spirit. Let's do a spiritual message from the spirits. What y'all gotta say? <laughs> spirit says we love y'all together. Why? Why? Do you, why do you love them together? Because of uh, some of you guys are pushing and pulling. Some of you guys are like, nah, fuck this. I can't do this shit. I fuck this nigga. He ain't shit. He ain't gonna never change. And then y'all next week. But I love him. That's my baby. <laughs> I know that all too well. But it seems like it, 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 spirit is like, yeah, it's funny. And my spirit guys tend to laugh at me a lot, especially when I be like, I'm done with this certain person. I be like, I'm done. I'm tired of his shit. I don't want to ever talk to him. And then I start hearing laughter. And then I hear, and then I be like, if y'all send me his ass again, I'm going to tell him, fuck him. He can kiss my ass. And then like a couple of hours later, he be like, what you doing? I be like, nothing. You want to come home? <laughs> so that's what they say. Like, I, I, I love them because they're funny. You guys were meant to be in a, a, a certain type of way. That's fun. Okay. <laughs> I swear it happens all the time. Every time I be like, fuck him, I'm done. I be so serious. And then spirit, just all I hear is just laughter. They be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> so what is this energy over love? Oh, I just want to, I want to be nosy in y'all relationship. If y'all don't mind. Hold on. I need these cards. Y'all can't see me. My titties ain't out, so we good. Okay. Actually, speaking of titties being out, might as well, right? It's hot. It's about to be 90 degrees today. And I live by myself with my two cats, so I think I'm good. Um, so what is going on with this energy of this relationship? What is on... What's the question? What's on their mind? Pal A or their persons? What's on their... Is this the right deck? Nope. Why did I pull it then? Just tell me pull three cards. Oh, okay. They, they got their control again. Somebody's controlling themselves. Crown chakra. Ooh, you like to fuck on this person. This is definitely your soulmate. Going with the flow energy. This is more of an energy of like kind of going under accepting what is or speaking up and saying the truth get conquering those deeper girl conquering those deepest fears and confronting bullshit I, I feel like you need to choose your battles when it comes to this person speak your mind come from your heart and find balance i feel like a conversation needs to be had <coughs> clarity clarity about what's next clarity about balance clarity about what this person wants clarity uh shit telling them what you want some type of change and then you got the crown chakra this is knowledge from spirit okay so spirit what's your knowledge what, what do you want to say what, what do you have what have you been saying because this spirit's probably already been trying to talk to you but as humans we are stubborn you have an ancestor around you Spirit is saying, Shh, you have, um, actually, <laughs> actually, you have a lot of spirits around you. Um, Spirit is saying, remember that only love is real. A spirit has your back. Connect to your lineage. Like, you have an ancestor around you. Share your gifts with grace. Raise waves of inspiration and love are coming towards you. Unleash your spirit. Express your gifts. It's something about your gifts that you need to be paying. Oh, Spirit is either they're trying to help you to increase your gifts or they're trying to help you um, <laughs> recognize that you have gifts or they're just pushing you to express your gifts and express it with the world. Either way, I think you need to tune into your crown chakra, your third eye and start listening more. Okay, because they're trying to reach out. They're saying that miracles are happening and that they have your back. And make sure that you are thinking about what you desire and setting your sights high and expecting the best possible outcome for you. Because you are on the path of light and love. Hmm. Okay, that was just a little bit message for you. This is probably some personal development that you need to actually... Sometimes when we get with people and we love them and we feel like they're, they're our twin flames and our soulmates, this is just some bullshit that I'm rambling about. Y'all can take it if y'all want it. Y'all can leave it if y'all want. Take what you need. Um, sometimes we get in the energy of not wanting to lose someone so we don't speak up and say what we want and say how we feel because we feel like that other person will leave and run. 
but I'm just telling you this right now for the ones that care um, that doesn't work <laughs> they tend to end up controlling the situation and being the ones that are runners and being the ones that um, you know feel like they can have whatever they want when they feel it just a little bit of knowledge you know speak up and say your truth either they can accept it or they can't but at least you'll know right um so what is this i want to use this deck so bad but what's the question how are they feeling towards you what's on their actual mind when it comes to you this is my favorite deck i don't even remember what deck this is called i got the box somewhere These are my favorite cards. So let's see. Prayer. We got joy. We got trust. We got standing in the full power. What are their feelings towards you? This person thinks that you're unhealthy. Thinks that the relationship is unhealthy. But you just see the thing is. <clears throat> I don't feel like it's like. Oh man. She or he is unhealthy. I just think that this situation is unhealthy. And I'm kind of trying to get through that unhealthiness. Um, this person has a fear of intimacy, a fear of opening their heart, a fear of being vulnerable. And so they procrastinate. They don't do anything. But the universe is asking you to open up to infinite for ancient girls. Speak. I'm not even high. Girl, I, I bought some weed the other day. Oh my God. It was terrible. Smoking like five blunts just to get high. That's terrible. The universe is asking you to open up to the infinite nature of abundance. I feel like this person could, feels like it could be so much more than what it could be. It's just like this person can't open up. It says you're ready to let love in. But this person's not opening their heart to it. They want positive change. They want joy. This person's even probably praying for things to be different. Praying for joy. Praying for love. Praying for happiness. Praying to probably even open up. Praying to trust their self and trust like spirit. <laughs> I think this person's trying to change. Trying to change who they're surrounded by. Trying to tr change how they attract success. Trying to change going after success shit. Okay. Let's see. Spirits. So now, what's their intentions towards you? Let's do that one. How about the, the question in the hand? So, Pal A. What is Pal A's intentions towards you? I wish I had a blunt. Man, I want to get high. But I, I, this fucking weed is terrible. Man, I got shit, do I? I ain't got a damn thing. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. I do. Look, that's how you know I'm a fiend. I get excited when I think about it. Like, I do got a stash somewhere. <laughs> You're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like y'all and y'all energy. Like I said, somebody in this pile about to get some money. Some, somebody in this pile about to get some type of abundance. What was the question, Spirit? Start talking about weed. What was the question? Hmm. What is their intention? The goddamn question of the hour. This person wants to build with you. They want to move forward. I, I feel like... I. <sighs> And it's going to make me cry. That's how I feel like this energy is. I pray this is not about. <laughs> Should I take the rest off the top or the bottom? One off the bottom. Look at you coming up to Queen of Cups. And two off the top. Victory and success and letting burdens go. Being less stressful. Ooh, that's what it is. That's that feeling. Look, they're coming up as the King of Swords. What do you think about King of Swords? Moving. Okay. Okay, this person's, yeah, that, they're, they're, every time I see five of pentacles, I always see that four of cups. Oh, oh shit, spirit, oh man, I know y'all want to fuck each other, I saw that sacral chakra. Okay, 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 let me stop, I'm just <laughs> really excited because I just thought about it, I had some weed. Okay, I might want to pause it, should I pause it and come back high and read for y'all? No, spirit says get this out before I forget it because you know, that, that happens too. Um, this person's coming up as King of Swords and you're coming up as a Queen of Pentacles. Take it as it resonates. If you're feminine, masculine, take it as it resonates. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as well as Queen of Pins is Gemini. No, 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 no. That is Taurus, Virgos, Capricorn. Yeah, that Capricorn. Y'all in boss energy. Okay, anyway, so Spirit is saying, um, I feel like who, who, 
Oh. Her? Him? Who? This. Okay. Because spirit separated it. You, saw, you see how it's laid out? It's separated. So I'm like, because all of his energy is up here, and then the energy of how he feels about you is down here, and then the energy of you guys together is cultivated down here. And there's a lot of more cards down here. So let's go to up to uh, what's going on in his mind. He's in the energy of what he wants from you. He's not moving quickly as he will, as he will like or you will like. As the energy would like, as he would, he or she, both of y'all, whoever would like, he's moving slow, okay? He wants to have fun with you. Like, there is the energy of needing balance, but having fun with this balance. I feel like, I feel like this positive change is going to come and bring peace. I, I truly do. Because the star card is all about optimism to me and flowing with the energy and being positive, wishing upon a star, good news, celebration, all that. And also, as well as being hopeful about spiritual energy. Because when spirit comes to tell me, hey, you got you some dick coming. Hey, you got you some money coming. Hey. And I'll be like, ooh. So, you know, it's like that hope and that desire for it. Um, I feel like this man is just not, especially when I see the five of pentacles and the four of cups. Automatically, I think that this person is not happy with themselves because... When you feel lack, it normally comes from within, not from without. Like, you feel lack because you're not happy with yourself. So this person is not happy with their situation, with themselves, probably with their finances and the opportunities that they're getting and just things that they feel like they're getting is not where they think that they're supposed to be. Everybody has their journey, and this person is not realizing that they're on a journey yet. Um, but I feel like with you, they want to build. They want to move forward. They want to elevate with you. They feel like you are definitely of quality. That's what I'm saying. I see victory because we had the six of wands before, right? I, I see good news because the three of wands and the six of wands and, oh, my God. <laughs> then we got the four of wands. This is all about celebration and goodness. And I just bought this book because, you know, it's always good to read. It's always good to improve your knowledge. This is like the basic book. I bought it from my occult store. So some of you guys are looking to um, educate yourself. And I am coming out of my class. But I know you guys want to educate yourself. So pick up a book. Always read. No matter how how um, good you think you are. It's always good to learn more knowledge. But anyways. So I'm going to read this to you guys. Because I'm going to tell y'all like how good these cards are exactly. Even in a book. Not me just telling you. But these cards are fucking phenomenal. You got good news. The Six of Wands. Good news. Victory. At the strife. Pleasure gained through labor. And I know some of you guys have been through some shit. Because I saw that Three of Swords. Success through industry. Advancement in arts and science. And friends are helpful. Because he definitely wants to be your friend. Okay. And then we have the Three of Wands. Let's go to Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands is on the same Page. That's how it looks on the inside if you guys are curious. Okay. Let's do the three of wands. Now, this look. <laughs> Realization of hope. Establish strength, notability, wealth, power, caution against pride and arrogance, partnerships, help with offered by a successful, successful merchant. It, it's better in my other book. But it's all about success. And uh, coming to after the two of wands, it, it's like y'all been planning. And now it's like things are happening. Messages are coming in. Victory, success, all of that. And then we got the four of wands. It's perfected work. Rest at the labor. You know what? Let's let's read the better book. Okay, this is, it's, it's okay in that book. I got another book. Because <laughs> it's always good to read. This one came with my... Um, I'm sorry, y'all know I like to talk. So when I feel like it, this is I'm an introvert, really, truly. This this is the begin before tarot. I think it's before tarot. I think it's the before tarot. Okay, let's see. Okay, three of wands. Here it is. It says uh, corroboration, business, perfection, completion, harmony, success, happiness, marriage, good fortune, peace, and prosperity. That's the three of um. Okay. Dust on my hand. Three of uh, wands. And then the four of wands. Love, honor, respect, peace, prosperity, good fortune. I told y'all about to get some money. Okay? I know money when it comes in. I can sniff it out. Good fortune, union, harmony, success, happiness, and marriage. What they say? Harmony, success, harmony, success, and marriage. Harmony, success, and marriage. So, I feel like some of you guys can be moving towards actually getting married. Actually having some type of peace in this relationship. And if it's not even with this person, I feel like you're just about to be moving into the energy of being committed truly with this person or with someone else i feel like you're about to get your husband or your wife if that's what you've been asking for i do feel like this person um 
really does care though. They really it, it's their intentions is to make things better. They want to fuck you too. They want to fuck you to relieve stress, which is like the best. Like I don't know when people. Okay, I'm talking a lot. Um, they want to renew this love. This person just doesn't feel. Maybe they're in the energy of not even feeling like you. They have enough without you. That can be something too. Is that it, spirit? It is, but it's a factor. It's not the fully thing. It's themselves. They're not happy with what they have and their opportunities. But you bring light and you bring happiness and joy. I feel like down the road, if you, I feel like down the road they want to. I feel like even spirit might be sending you feathers and signs and shit like that to be able to uh, tell you what's going on. But honestly, I just feel like this person want their intentions is to make you a friend, start over. They're not coming as quickly as you would like. But they're thinking about it. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about what they want. They want to fuck you and release some stress. I'm telling you that right now. That's the best sex ever. Besides break up sex, make up sex. Sex with a good person in general. I mean, you know. Anyways. Um, yeah. I, 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 this is good energy. I feel good energy. This person wants success, peace, and love. They just want to be able to elevate. They want to build. They want to keep you around. So this is a good one. Keep on, hold on to this person. If you're waiting, actively wait. That means build businesses. Go on this 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 Queen of Pentacles energy because you got money coming. Focus on your abundance. But this person is coming with good intentions. Okay. So we're gonna move on to Pal B. Actually, Pal B, let me pause you real quick because I got some smoke and I need to get high because this is some bullshit. So I'll be back. You won't know. Trust me. You you won't know. Okay, Pal B. See, I'm back better than ever. It's been probably two hours. Had a smoke break, ate some steak, talked on the phone, got my energy together. Okay, so I'm back. Now, what is the question here? What are we talking about? What are their intentions? Right? Oh, we are. Okay, okay. Hmm. What's the energy? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, shit. So somebody's quiet, but you feel things. Mm. Wanting things to speed up a little bit, discussing things, reviewing your options, tirelessness. I don't think that's word. Tireless. <clears throat> Wishing for something, but the energy's not right. Mm. Looking at things Somebody really is It's a lot of really um, reviewing this relationship A lot of reviewing A lot of going over different things Probably uh, replaying memories of good times Wanting to still hold on to that memory Perfect timing This is not in your divine timing I'm sorry honey because there becomes conflict <clears throat> with this person. I'm sorry. I'm going to clear my throat and shit. My bad. How rude of me. I feel like when you think about this person, like, you're kind of content with them. But I feel like this person was sent to you because of spiritual reasons. Like, you're for self-discovery. <clears throat> it's important to be yourself. It's important to nurture your feelings and how you feel and what you think and what makes you happy and what doesn't. And like going with that, it's, it's going to help you to make the right choice. Like, what is your hopes, your... um? Your wishes for the future. Because it's that Nine of Cups energy. And Nine of Cups energy is all about wishing. All about hoping. But it's all about getting your wish granted though. Hmm. Ooh. Many thoughts. Many words. Hmm. 
Do you need to speak up? Do you need to say something? Does somebody need to say something? Somebody needs to open their fucking mouth, act like a leader, confront the energy. It will bring success. You will get what you want in a relationship. Look at that. Immediately, too. Be realistic about what you can get from this person, though. You know, some people ain't... It, it's okay. It depends on your energy and where you are at in life, okay? Now, if you want more, go after more. But if you are content with... Some people don't need to have somebody there physically all the time. Like, some people are okay with having... Hey, how are you doing? I'll see you this weekend. Or, hey, how you doing? I'll see you in two weeks. Or, I'm traveling, but I'm still interested. Like, some people are okay with that energy. And if you're okay with that energy, then it's okay to compromise. I, I just feel like you have to be true for what you want and confront the situation if you want more. That's how you get more. The same will bring success, though. But be realistic about it. Be realistic about what this person can really give you. I'm sorry. I was doing some nasty shit while I was on break, too. My bad. Hold on. Oh, man. I can't even reply. Damn. Okay. <laughs> um. Damn, he knocked me off my, my, my mindset. What was I talking about? Damn, I'm saying that guy. Be realistic. Uh, you must wait. Hmm. Wait for what? Wait for them to get their act together. So what's the immediately? Okay, so you will immediately see a change, but you will have to wait for them to fully get their act together. So be a risk. There you go. That's the realistic. Okay, be realistic about that timeline then. Be realistic about that. Like he, he or she will immediately change if you speak up. But you have to be realistic about them truly changing. Does that make sense? But nurture yourself first. Okay, now let's see what's their intentions. Because we just went over your energy. Damn. Oh, man. I want to reread that. Um, what's their intentions? Should I keep the same deck or no? This one? Okay, I'm not going to get the message. Then which one? Which one are you talking about? Show me. Show. This one? Oh, you're talking about a dead one. Okay. So what's his intention? So what he, uh, he or she, what is their intention towards Pal B? Okay, everybody ain't fucking a he, right? Uh, Pal B. Mm, they figuring some shit out according to romance and happiness and they want to speak up too oh shit y'all about to have a conversation oh man <gasps> I wish I could <gasps> oh they love you oh that's so nice pal B oh I think you're their door to personal happiness and healing and I think they want to speak speak up say something say something say how you feel it's going to heal it. Say how you feel. Yes, yeah, speak from the heart. Speak from the heart chakra, okay? Get that shit pumping. I like this. Gee, I just smoked some real good weed. Oh, my God. I wish he had some more of this. And, and some of you guys are manifesting, acting, law of attraction, candles, you know. Some of y'all killing chickens. It's okay. It, it's just as long as you're not hurting nobody, you know. Um... Balance. That oh shit. You know what I'm seeing? Oh my god, look at this at the bottom of the deck. Well, somebody's thinking, what you thinking about walking away? You envious of not having what you want? No, this person's intentions is to come around and give you some love. But see the thing is this is timing. Uh it's a timing and balance. Um I was explaining something before, right? And I don't think you guys can see my hands. I'm just gonna use it this way, right? So Normally, when we are aligned, we are aligned with someone. I got nails, so I can't be in alignment with my hands right now. But you know what I'm saying. So, sometimes some of us tend to not be in alignment. And then it, it takes for time and lessons and um, more loving, more sex, you know, to get shit back 
in alignment. So that's what that is. And it's, it's a timing thing. You have to go through some more things for you guys to get truly where you guys need to be. But he's but he or she is thinking about it. Or they thinking about it. They thinking that you kind of give them strength. You make them feel good. But I feel like this person's tied into their stability, tied into that base chakra, tied into that uh gravity towards this plane. Like they like to imagine, but they can't really because they got a lot of shit to do. Like <laughs> this person feels tied up. Feels constricted. Feels like they can't really step away. And all I'm saying is, honey, right now you need patience. Because of, it's like that indecision. Like, should you wait? Should you not wait? Should you wait? Should you not wait? So, spirit. Real, real quick. And I saw blossoming abundance. So, some of y'all about to get y'all some money. Um, spirit. Look, I'm always going to announce if I see money. I saw it again. So, you're about to get you some money. And what are these two cards? And then look. More money. Adjacent possibilities. Well... I feel like this is what should they say or should they not say? Mm. One more card. <laughs> Cause y'all y'all playing with me. He gonna he or she gonna break your heart again. Or, if not breaking your heart, it's going to be an argument again. It's going to be a, a discussion of, like, what the fuck? Can't believe you on some bullshit. It's that indecision. But it's like, it's so much love underneath all of that bullshit. Underneath the deceit, it could be a marriage. It could be harmony. It could be peace. Could be happiness. Could be romance. But I feel like Spirit is saying that you need to kind of, um, this is why I was trying to look for more information. You need to kind of look at different options in love. You might want to do that if you're not patient. I feel like someone would come and give you a contract of marriage. It could be an option in one of those doors if you chose to walk away. But if you want this, you could stay actively stay though actively stay that means make this money that they're talking about right here and then wait and be lonely <laughs> or wait and have those moments with that person i mean but you know you got options that's all they're saying you got options i right? got options but this person's intentions is to really truly come around and give you some love i just think that y'all are not in alignment that's all that's why it's not working. You're not in alignment. Pray for alignment if you guys are waiting. Pray for alignment. Pray for alignment. Okay, so if you like this reading, please let me know. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if it resonated. Made any type of sense to you. But we're going to move on to Pal. What's your name? See. Um, what's. That was a fast ass video. That was only 12 minutes? Really? Girl, get your shit together. Um. What's the energy for Pal C? What's going on in this relationship, Pal C? What's going on? Oh, y'all fucking, y'all nasty. This person is a Sagittarius or has Sagittarius energy. I also see Leo and Aquarius. This person is probably very experimental in the bedroom. But I feel like you trust this person. It's a lot of sex. A lot of sex. <laughs> um, what's this? 
Is it love? Is it partnership? Is it needing someone? What is this energy? Oh man, I might be too high. Oh, there's no such thing. <laughs> oh, let's see. I feel like y'all in some type of partnership. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like there's some type of deep connection here. Like that sex is connecting y'all. Because that's what I feel. So much sex. So much sex. Nasty sex. So confident. Like you probably walk around the room with your dick swinging, you know. Titties out. Ass out. Not giving a fuck. Just like having nasty sex. And like feeling each other's energy. Probably even like creating something in each other's energy. Like, you probably wake up and suck some... Mm, stop. Okay. You probably wake up and do nasty things. <laughs> I feel like this person really appreciates your skills. Oh, you know what I just read? Uh, a pipe pleaser. It says, right pleasure. So, I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy. And that's just not me, okay? That's just not my energy coming out. I feel like you guys even probably in that sexual act, you guys make a lot of promises towards each other. <laughs> oh, no. Don't make promises doing sex. They don't come true. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no that, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's, that's a big lie. That's a big lie. Yeah. I feel like you guys like, you guys are actually friends. That's why I got, I'm like, I don't get marriage. Some of you guys are probably married to this person. Or it could be an energy around you guys. But you guys are like true like best friends. Like you my nigga. Like we, we cool. Like that type of energy. That comes with responsibilities though. Complexity. Hmm. I feel like some of you guys are probably puzzled with this person. But anyways, it's a lot of uh, fire. <laughs> this one too so we got Sagittarius we got Leo we got Aries definitely a king or king king or queen of wands we have a little bit of stability and some air in there but I mean you guys do talk y'all got some um Gemini energy as well I feel like you guys definitely like each other's physical bodies like that's a thing but going with the flow of this relationship is kind of a, um oh some of you guys got different spiritual beliefs you guys, some of you guys see the world differently than this person. Y'all opinions kind of conflict a little bit. It's some type of complexity we're going with the flow of this connection. It's a little bit of responsibility. I see responsibility and, and pressure. Hmm. Some of y'all about to get a gift though. Some type of benefit from this energy. Some type of enjoyment. Go fuck him or her. Go do that. Okay. As long as you feel good afterwards, do your thing. Let's see. Hmm. Combines with joined forces, assets, material wealth. Some of you guys are about to create a business with this person. This person's very wise, or that will give you some information over your finances or something dealing with money and assets. This person is very smart. Um, can make something from nothing type of energy. Very aligned in their own energy. They're just kind of nervous. What is their problem, Spirit? What's the, what's the problem? What's the complexity then? Okay, right about this. Oh, the intimacy is at the bottom of the deck. Oh. Futuristic, group oriented, free, liberal, curious, communicative, vocal, street smart, Capricorn. We got Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Virgo. Serious, ambitious, down to earth creates tension all of these signs them being a social butterfly or being a boss do they not fit into your world is that what that is or you don't fit into their world is that what that is it's 
something about being re realistic. What? Uh -uh -uh. I don't like this energy. Let it suffer me, spirit. Please. What's the problem again? No, mm -mm. don't come at them like that. What? Oh, you can fuck them, but you okay? Let's see. What's this? I don't like this. Frustration. So yeah, I am frustrated. Um. What what's the complexity? What's the problem? Why aren't they together? Oh, surrender to miracle. Don't push so hard. Somebody's in their ego. That's what that is. They want to control the situation. This person is very controlling. Or well, you want to control the situation. Y'all obsess over each other. Create drama over over each other. But it's saying like y'all kind of need to grow up and heal a little bit. It's fine. Everybody does it. Shit, I'm working on it right now. Open to the magic of every moment. Since the awe and the wonder and all in life, the attitude will keep connected to the essence of flow. Surrender to unhealthiness and just enjoy. So this saying, okay. So the spirit is saying, like, with this one, it's kind of this person's in their ego about shit. And it, it ain't got nothing to do with you because you're perfect as you are. Do not change for anybody. Okay? Fuck them. But it's saying that this person, like, y'all create drama. <laughs> Because of each other, and it's funny, and it's so I mean, you know, you ain't got shit else to do, might as well. <laughs> Y'all think about each other constantly, and you know what the thing is because of that constant thinking, I feel like you guys are vibrating the energy out of trying to create some drama, like trying to rev up some energy. I mean, if that's your thing, <laughs> but Spirit is saying, like, you kind of need to keep this in our hands for right now, especially since you don't really know what to do with this person. Um, just give it to us and allow us to handle it the way we need to. It probably bring you um, more peace. I know the fuck that would bring me peace. Cause it's saying stop pushing so hard. I'm sorry, I had to drink something. Oh, I'm hungry too. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Like, go with the flow. Be at peace, okay? Surrender your desires to control, okay? Being over-controlling can sabotage shit, you know? Get out your ego. Get out their ego. Like, you have to be open to things happening the way they're supposed to be. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So this is not even the question. Get out of stress. Don't fear change. Step into your power. You can have whomever and whatever you want and go have fun. You kind of need to get in pray because I will always tell you to pray for anything you want. Look, divine timing and stop being so stubborn. Let let spirit handle it. Oh, no, I said what I wanted to say. Oh, and look, the other card, the intimacy card fell off. And then relationships and partnerships and love and uh, marriage. Um, well, I don't know if any of y'all going to get married. But I'm pretty sure some of y'all can, you know. Who knows? Um, future's ever changing. Um, but I do feel like a partnership will come. But you got to be, like, open to divine timing. Like how be? But this is a little different than that. This is a little different than how be. Um. Okay. Pal B. Pal B. Pal C. My bad. I'm tripping. That was my bad. That was me. So what are we doing? What is his intentions? His or her intentions? I'm sorry. What is his or her intention? With how C. Create wealth, bring emotion, move in a new direction. It is for timing. He, he or she has a lot more, a lot going on, more, girl, a lot more going on that meets the eye. I think this person is probably recovering from some type of addiction. Trying to embrace new change. That's that moving in a new direction. But it's favorable. It's a good thing. Look at that. 
job well done girl speak today open your mouth okay a job well done joy contentment and gratitude spiritual this person's on a spiritual journey wow okay I think that somebody probably stopped smoking so much, stopped drinking so much, stopped fucking so much, and is open to creating more balance. Wait for perfect timing. Look at this. The emperor's trying to control the love. Being very disciplined with his love. His or her love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get out the energy. Please forgive me. I feel like um, some type of uh, speeding up is about to happen. Uh, speak to me, spirit. Let me know what you guys say. Oh. Spirit is saying, yes, speeding up is actually about to happen. You need to stay in the energy of flow. Like, just let shit be. I didn't tell y'all to speak up. I, don't, I think that was Pal B. I told them to speak up. Pal C... Go with the energy of flow. See what things take you. Right? Is that right? Perfect. Okay. Shit, I be high and shit. You know what I'm saying? Go go be happy, god damn it. Go fuck them if you want to fuck them. Them. Yeah, them. Him or her. Or them. The pronoun. Yeah. Whatever y'all want to call. Open your eyes to different possibilities in love. Somebody successful. Mm, Midas touch. King of Pentacles. That's the I cannot think today. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, right? Girl, bitch, your shit. Mm. Listen to yourself. Have patience with yourself. Look, we got a couple. We got a king and a queen and an empress and an emperor. Huh. Y'all getting into alignment. This is nice. Just give it time. Y'all still got that fire for each other. That desire for one another. New beginnings. New potential. Contentment. Joy. Open up and not be... Don't be defensive. Show emotion. This is your soulmate. Okay? Don't romanticize it, though. Like, be in the energy of what is. Open your eyes to what it is now. Don't romanticize it. Don't twin flame that shit up. Be in the energy of being realistic. Okay, but don't be so stubborn to it either you know what I'm saying be open minded but don't be crazy okay so if y'all like the video please let me know if this made any type of sense and I will talk to you guys in the next one I want y'all to be good